Welcome back inside the Kyle Corner video blog. The USD women win their fourth straight game on Saturday afternoon here at the Dakota Dome by a score of 86 to 50 over Cal State Fullerton. And for more on that, we bring in John Thayer, who is the voice of USD women's basketball. And John, uh, this game was a dominating performance from the opening tip for USD. They look good on both ends of the floor today. Yeah, it really did. Uh, the coaches really expected a big challenge from Cal State Fullerton. Their coach is in his second season, and they're looking to turn the corner. But South Dakota got up 4-2. to two. That was uh, when Cal State Fullerton cut their lead in half. And then after that, the Coyotes went on a uh, big run. I think it was like a 17-point run mm -hmm. in that uh, quarter before the uh, first media timeout. The first media timeout didn't come till 13 and a half minutes left in that first half. So they got out to a big uh, lead. They were able to get some turnovers on defense, forcing those turnovers turnovers and then scoring the ball in transition was huge today mm -hmm. for that run for South Dakota. Yeah, the Coyotes ended up forcing uh, 21 turnovers in this game. I mean, we talk about defense. Uh, Amy Williams has harped on that. They've, they've put a, a big uh, emphasis on that coming into the season and uh, she wouldn't admit it. But to me, I think to you, this is about as good as this team has looked defensively in a long time. Yeah, they have. And you mentioned 21 turnovers. That's 22 points off of turnovers that they mm -hmm. scored in the ball game. And uh, it, was, it was a really good defensive effort, not just like the starting five or the first seven off of the bench. Keep in mind, every player who is in uniform today played at least 12 minutes today for South Dakota. Every player in uniform scored today. And so they were doing it uh, defensively. It was a harassing defense. I thought uh, Margaret McLeod and Lisa Loeffler did a really good job on the inside side uh, limiting chances in the paint. The offensive end pretty much did whatever they wanted all day and it started in the paint. Uh, USD outscoring the Titans 36-13 in the lane. Yeah and that run early on Margaret McLeod got going. I think she had six or eight really quick points uh, in the game. She finished in double figures one of five players to do so uh, but I really thought the spark offensively came from Kelly Stewart mm -hmm. who came off of the bench. She hit three three-pointers uh, almost in a row and uh, I think in the first half was three for five from three-point line and really was that spark and then late in the game Rachel Contreras got going on again she ends up in double figures th uh, this afternoon and uh, she is now scored the only player on this team to score in double figures in every game this season I thought one area maybe that the Coyotes struggled a little bit today was they didn't really dominate the boards they were out rebounded today I think it's only the second time this season they've been out rebounded by the opponent uh, and finished with under 30 turnovers in the game I think of 29 uh, or I'm not I mean rebounds in the game 29 and so they didn't really dominate the boards they gave up too many second chance points for Cal State Fullerton but that big lead, uh, yeah. they, they were able to grow that. It was 30 at one point. I think the largest they had in the ballgame was a 40-point lead, and, of course, they finish it up 86-50. Yeah, they could afford uh, that that yeah. little bit of a, a, a lackadaisical. I don't want to call it lackadaisical because it's not like they weren't working hard, but uh, just not what we've become used to seeing out of this team. They're usually very, very good on the glass. Uh, gave up 12 offensive rebounds that led to a lot of those second-chance points for Cal State Fullerton uh, in this one, but it didn't matter. Coyotes roll 86-50, to their fourth straight win. They go to 6-2 and two on the season. Coming up next Tuesday night, December 9th, here at home again, the third game of this five-game homestand against Valparaiso. Yeah, they'll play Valparaiso. These two teams met last year uh, on New Year's Eve at Valparaiso, and it was a game in which South Dakota had a lot of injuries at that point. You remember that point in the season where we flipped for the calendar year, uh, and South Dakota was dealing with a bunch of injuries. They were able to get the win up there. So it'll be interesting to see what Valparaiso brings here on uh, Tuesday, and then it's a long break for these girls. They get about nine days off uh, because of finals and, and academic stuff, but uh, they'll, they'll get that long break and then two games before Christmas. A nice homestand though right now for these girls. Absolutely, and the Coyotes are uh, making the most of it. They've won the first two uh Pretty comfortably, even though the game was a little bit closer on, on uh, Thursday night against UNI. That one never really much in doubt uh, either. And so uh, USD certainly playing well in defense of that Summit League Tournament Championship. Look to continue that here uh, Tuesday night again against Valparaiso. For John Thayer, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.